All right, we are now joined by head coach Seth Heinsen. Thanks for the time. Busy schedule right now, and a quick little turnaround. How's the team feeling, and how are you feeling? Yeah, it always helps when uh, it's off the back of a win away from home against you know one of the top teams in the league. You know the the spirits are high, uh, lots of confidence after after the result of the weekend. But it's it, you have to move on to the next one. The next one's right around the corner against a, another tough opponent in North Carolina. You know they're a good team. Um, Sean Nayas has done a great job with them, and it's going to be a tough ask for us. But we're more than up for the challenge. It's kind of going off of that with, with preparations for North Carolina. What are you kind of expecting from them? Yeah, listen, we 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 play them in preseason. We've played them obviously last year as well. They're a team that likes to possess the ball. They like to draw you out, um, have a number of passes within their game. Um, and again, it's it's going to be a, a, a tough match. We have to be organised. We have to read the the times to when to press and when to sit back. And I thought this year we've done a terrific job of un understanding those moments uh, as well as being threatening in transition also. So, yeah, it's just reading those cues uh, and those triggers and then hopefully we can get some success on the other side of it. It's no secret that it's been kind of a, a tough start to the season in terms of the, the availability of, of players. Uh, it seems like every time you get one back, you lose another. Um, with Hoffa coming back, but then losing Breed to suspension, I mean, yeah. it, how... how Tough is that just constantly adjusting uh, lineups and players, and, and you know having to go through these hurdles. Yeah, it's challenging, but you have to expect that in in this league. You know, with all the travel, the international um, breaks. I've said it from the start, it's, it's reliant on the roster and not just a group of individual players. Um, and it's that next player needs to step up mentality. And what we've done really well is. The players who have stepped up, they've taken their opportunity, and you know we've rewarded them with those opportunities by getting the next start in the in the next game. So, yeah, it's it's a team team sport, it's a team game. Everyone needs to know their role and what they need to do for us to be successful. And and you have to be ready. Um, most importantly, you know, one moment you can be out of the squad, next moment you you're playing in the game um, and so we like that mentality uh, within the players and they're they're fully together in, in, in that. Looking ahead with this week in general, you have the, the Saturday game that you just played, the midweek and then right back again on Sunday. Um, how do you kind of take it game by game but also have that foresight looking ahead to, to Sunday knowing that you have a game in four days after that? Well, the nice thing is that we're at home for our next two games. Um, you know, with, with the travel, it can be a little bit relentless and, and difficult to manage. But, you know, it's it's nice that on Wednesday we're at home and then Sunday we're at home in front of our own fans, in front of all our, uh, you know, we've got players coming back from injury. We've got players who, you know, want to keep that momentum moving forward. And so, again, we want to, we want to keep our unbeaten record going. Um, again, it's a tough ask with a quick turnaround, but also it's tough for North Carolina as well, only playing on on Saturday and then having to travel here to Orlando. So, yeah, it's it's that next game mentality with half an eye on on the following game uh, uh, against Louisville. I wanted to ask you about uh, Luana. Obviously, her diagnosis was made official today. Um, how's the support been for, for her uh, since then and just kind of the, the vibe around the team in, in supporting her? Yeah, I mean it's it's devastating news. Um, you know, you, you never want to hear that with one of your um, players. Um, but I think it shows like the togetherness, the support that's around the group, not only with you know in our environment, but the support around the whole organization as well. It's really important that um, everyone supports Lou through this difficult time. Um, everyone's there for her, and I'm sure she's. She's got a strong enough mentality to get through this, um, but sh she knows that we're all here for her and, and um, wanting to help her through this tough time. We'll uh, go ahead to the Zoom. Uh, John, go ahead. Uh, Seb, you mentioned that North Carolina loves to possess the ball, but they're also terrific in transitioning and attacking, and they're also very accurate passing team. So do you feel like there's more of an emphasis on being good, good defense? position, reading the play well so you can cut those attacks off. 
Absolutely. I think they I think they have the highest passes in the league. They like to possess the ball. Um, I think one thing that we've done really well this year has been organising our defensive shape and reading those moments to when to when to hold and when to press. And I, I don't think that changes against this uh, opponent. So again, we want to be organised. We want to make it difficult for North Carolina, both in possession as well. I think we, we are capable of playing um, good, attractive football, but also in uh, in our own transition, I think we can be uh, de devastating with some of the personnel that we have.